Hello again. This time we're going to learn how we can convert categorical variables to numerical variables. This process is usually called encoding or continuization. Let's remind ourselves of our map of the topics. We are now here. We're converting categorical variables into numerical variables. We've covered these and now we'll try to learn what encoding or continuization is. Now, we mentioned this before, we said categorical variables and numerical variables can be transformed into each other. Encoding is categorical to numerical, binning is numerical to categorical. Encoding or continuization, let me just ignore this, encoding or continuization um, is just the process of transforming categorical variables to binary or numerical counterparts. An example is, for example, if we have a categorical variable that represents a gender, male gender or sex, male or female. Well, what we can do is we can remove those and use one or zero. So uh, the way this is done is by now, instead of having one column for gender, we can have two columns, one for male and one for female. And then if the gender is male, we put one for male and zero for female. And if the gender is female, we put zero for male and one for female. So the ones are zeros will just indicate the existence or absence of the uh, uh, concerned value. Categorical variables usually must be encoded in many modeling methods. For example, for if we do linear regression, or do support vector machines or neural networks, this happens in the background, convert or encoding or converting um, categorical into numerical. Now we have two ways or two types of encoding. We have binary encoding and target-based encoding. By the way, from encoding, we have categorical variables and we convert them into continuous or numerical variables. This actually looks like a smiley face from this side and a sad face from the from this side. My two daughters would love this if they see it. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, we have two types of encoding, binary or target-based. For binary encoding, what we do is um, we convert or basically what we do is the categorical variables now take values of either 0 or 1 to indicate the absence or presence of each category. If the categorical variable, for example, has k categories, as we mentioned before for gender, uh, we have male or female, that's 2, then we would need to create k binary variables. For the gender, we need to create two binary variables now, one for male and other for female. The problem with this approach is that if the number of values in the categorical variable is too large then we end up with too many columns or too many features or attributes or characteristics. Uh, here we have a simple example where we um, try to have a trend variable which has three categories and convert it into a binary variable as you will see from this table here. So we have a categorical variable called trend. It has three distinct categories, up, down, or flat. And what we do is for each of them we create a column. So we create a column for up, column for down, and a column for flat. And then if the value in the original uh, uh, variable now is up, then we put one for up, zero, zero for down, and flat. If it's down, then we put zero for up, one for down and zero for flat. Uh, likewise for I'm sorry. And likewise for flat. If it's flat, then we put zero for up, zero for down, and one for flat, and so on and so forth. So this, these three columns here, are equivalent of this column here. The only difference is that this here values here are categorical, whereas values here are numerical. This is the binary uh, encoding. The other one is called target-based encoding. What we do here is, uh, we do numer numerization of categorical variables via a target. So in this method, we replace the categorical variable with just one numerical variable and replace each category of the categorical variable with its corresponding probability, uh, if it's categorical, or 
average if it's numerical now I will explain what this means by giving you an example the example of course is from the same source uh, from professor professor Said Said's website the main drawbacks of this method are it depends on the distribution of the target and it does have a lower predictability compared to the binary encoding so binary encoding usually improves predictability now we do the same thing now for uh, for the trend categorical variable now what we do is we sort of link it to a target so for example let's assume that the target value now here is 1 for this value up the target is 1 up target is 1 down target is 0 flat target is 0 down target is 1 and so on and so forth so what we do here is we can build a frequency table for the three different values of trend and for when the target is 0 and when the target is 1 and we have a count so for up for example we have 1 for target 0 and 2 times for target 1 for down 2 times for target 0 1 time for target 1 and then we compute the probability for for example target 1 here so this point 0 0.66 is 2 over 2 plus 1 2 over 3 and this one is 1 over 3 and this one is 2 over 4 that's why it's 0 0.5 and this one that's why it's 0 0.33 it's just 1 over 1 plus 2 it's 1 over 3 which is 0 0.33 this is how we actually replace it by its probability as I mentioned here yes now the other one or the other example is when we actually replace it by average let's assume that our target now has actually a real value so for up maybe the target here is 21 for up the target here is 24 for down target is 8 flat target is 15 and so on and so forth so what we do is we compute the average for each category of the categorical variables we have up down and flat we compute basically we, we sum up for example for up we add 21 plus 24 plus 26 and then divide by 3 for down we do 8 plus 11 plus 12 and divide by 3 and we get that and for flat 15 um, plus 16 plus 14 plus 13 divide by 4 now the count and then the result would be that so these are the averages and now we replace that by the average so this is an encoded the encoded value of the trend variable which is done with respect to a target yeah again this time is the target is uh, numerical so this is why we do the average whereas here the target itself again is categorical either 0 or 1 so we do the uh, probability I hope that makes sense in the next video I'll explain how to transform numerical variables into categorical variables which is the opposite of this process thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video